we will learn something about consumer protection safeguarding the interest and rights of consumers now what is meant by consumer protection consumer protection means safeguarding the interest and rights of consumers in other words it refers to the measures adopted for the protection of consumers from unscrupulous and unethical malpractices by the business and to provide them speedy redressal of their grievances. What is consumer protection and why it is important? Consumer protection ensures that consumers make well-informed decisions about their choices and have access to effective redress mechanisms. It also pushes for business to guarantee the quality of the products and services they offer. What are examples of consumer protection? right to value for money products and services must give value for money right to safety protection from hazardous products services and production process right to information right to choose right to redress right to consumer education right to representation what is the eight basic rights of a consumer the eight consumer rights are right to basic needs right to safety right to information right to choose right to representation right to redress right to consumer education and right to healthy environment. What are the five consumer protection agencies? Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, this regulatory agency's purpose is to protect consumers from deceptive financial products consumer product safety commission cpsc federal trade commission ftc food and drug administration fda national highway traffic safety administration nhtsa what are the seven consumer rights and responsibilities. Consumers are protected by the Consumer Bill of Rights. The bill states that consumers have the right to be informed, the right to choose, the right to safety, the right to be heard, the right to have problems corrected, the right to consumer education and the right to service. What is Consumer Protection Act 10? The Consumer Protection Act implemented in 1986 gives easy and fast compensation to consumer grievances. It safeguards and encourages consumer to speak against insufficiency and flaws in goods and services. If traders and manufacturers practice any illegal trade, this act protects their rights as a consumer. What are the advantages of Consumer Protection Act? 
it allows the consumers to enjoy various consumer rights it allows redressal of consumer queries it allows consumers to pressurize the producers as well as government to ensure moral business conducts what are my consumer rights when you buy goods or services in person or online you are protected by the law on consumer rights the consumer rights act 2015 makes your rights as a consumer easier to understand and covers online shopping as well as goods and services bought in shops how can i be a wise consumer tips on how to be a smart consumer buy products that have long life spans avoid disposable items buy products that have minimal packaging buy products in their concentrated form buy only what you need consuming less you dispose of less waste consider buying in bulk for those necessary purchases what are the consumer agent customer agent a foreign purchaser who buys goods outright for resale buyer enter purchaser vendia person who buys what are the roles and responsibilities of consumer protection agencies advise the state government on consumer protection policies ensure the replacement of hazardous products with safe products and seek ways and means of eliminating hazardous products from the market in conjunction with the relevant government agencies what is the consumer protection council the consumer protection council cpc is an agency of the government of nigeria with the mandate of addressing consumers complaints providing consumer education and encouraging trade industry and professional associations to develop and enforce quality standards designed to safeguard the interests of consumers now what are the main features of consumer protection act the act seeks to promote and protect the interest of consumers against deficiencies and defects in goods or services it also seeks to secure the rights of a consumer against unfair trade practices which may be practiced by manufacturers and traders what are the duties of consumer duty of consumer to pay for the services or goods purchased or used duty of the consumer to check weights balances prices etc to update oneself about the various schemes of consumer protection due to not to fall in the trap of misleading 
information and advertisements what is meant by consumerism consumerism is the idea that increasing the consumption of goods and services purchased in the market is always a desirable goal and that a person's well-being and happiness depend fundamentally on obtaining consumer goods and material positions What is COPRA Act full form? The Consumer Protection Act 1986 stands for COPRA, C-O-P-R-A, was an act of the Parliament of India enacted to protect the interests of consumers in India. What is Consumer Protection Act 2020? For the purposes of preventing unfair trade practices in e-commerce, the central government had notified the Consumer Protection E-commerce Rules 2020 with effect from 23rd July 2020. Additionally, Conventional flash sales by third party sellers are not banned on e commerce platform. What are the six consumer rights class 10? It includes adequate food, clothing, shelter, energy sanitation, health, care, education, and transportation. All the consumers have the right to fulfill these basic needs. What are the disadvantages of Consumer Protection Act? Disadvantages of Consumer Protection Act mandatory services, water supply, etc. provided by state authorities are not covered in this act. This act only covers two clauses regarding supply of hazardous products. Consumer Protection Act don't empower consumer redressal fora. What are the disadvantages of consumer? Limited resources. Another disadvantage of being consumers is the limited resource that they are forced to accept. This includes the limitations of on income and the way these decisions influence consumer interest in a product. What is right safety? Means right to be protected against the marketing of goods and services which are hazardous to life and property. What are the various types of consumers? Following are the most common five types of consumers in marketing. Loyal customers Loyal customers make up the bedrock of any business. Impulse shoppers. Impulse shoppers are those simply browsing products and services with no specific purchasing goal in place. Bargain hunters. Wandering consumers. Need best customers. What can you do if a company won't refund you? Here is how to get your money back. 
try to work it out with the merchant first. Request a chargeback. Option two, consider mediation. Option three, sue in small claims. Option four, pursue consumer arbitration. Fair shake can help make arbitrating a bridge. How do I make a consumer complaint? A dissatisfied consumer can file a complaint directly with the National Commission or appeal against decisions of the State Commission within a month from the date of the order. The court fee is rupees 5000 and the demand draft should be in the name of the register National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission. How long can a refund legally take? You can get a full refund within 30 days. This is a nice new addition to our statutory rights. The Consumer Rights Act 2015 changed our right to reject something faulty and be entitled to a full refund in most cases from a reasonable time to a fixed period in most cases of 30 days. What is intelligent consumer? Being a smart consumer means you have to read all details of a product including the fine print that may people look over. This is especially true for things like contracts, warranties and written policies. It is always a good idea to read through all information and ask the right questions when something is unclear. What are the different agencies who protects consumer welfare in the Philippines? Bureau of Philippine Standards BPS develops, promotes and implements standards and related programs nationwide. Consumer Protection and Advocacy Bureau CPAB functions as a policy making body and oversees the advocacy of trade and consumer protection laws. Fair Trade Enforcement Bureau FTEB Who can I complain to about a company? An ombudsman is a person who has been appointed to look into complaints about companies and organizations. Ombudsmen are independent, free and impartial. So they don't take sides. You should try and resolve your complaint with the organization before you complain to an ombudsman. When you have a major problem with a product, you have the right to ask for your choice of a replacement or refund. For a major problem with a service, 
you can choose to receive compensation for the drop in value below the price paid or a refund. Why is the ACC so important to business in Australia? The ACCC promotes competition and fair trade in markets to benefit consumers, businesses and the community. We also regulate national infrastructure services. What are three ways the government protects consumers? They provide credit protection, debt collection protection, identity theft protection and bankruptcy and reorganization protection. What is consumer welfare and protection? Consumer protection is the practice of safeguarding buyers of goods and services and the public against unfair practices in the marketplace. A consumer is defined as someone who acquires goods or services for direct use or ownership rather than for resale or use in production and manufacture. What are the types of consumer protection council? Mainly three schemes that is ICGRS Integrated Consumer Grievance Resolution System, SCC Strengthening of Com Consumer Commission and CONFONET are being implemented in CPU division for protection of consumer rights in the country. How many types of cons council are under consumer protection? The Act provides for a Central Consumer Protection Council, a State Consumer Protection Council and a District Consumer Protection Council. The objective of these councils is to render advice on the promotion and protection of the consumers' rights at their respective levels. What are the four functions of CPC? The functions of the Ministry of Interior Child Protection Center have been identified as follows. Development of child protection strategies, policies and practice through strategic planning, commissioning of research, provision of internal and external training, collation and analysis of statistical data. What is Consumer Protection Act 1986? Consumer Protection Act The, the Consumer Protection Act 1986 was enacted for better protection of the interests of consumers. The provisions of the Act came into force with effect from 15487. What is the difference between capitalism and consumerism? The main difference between capitalism and consumerism is that capitalism gives people private ownership and is based on the generation of profit from products, while consumerism is based on the
product consumption by the customer and aims to govern the market which will hold the consumer's interest. What do you mean by capitalist? A person who has capital specially invested in business, industrial capitalists broadly, a person of wealth, plutocrat, charitable organizations often seek help from capitalists. Two, a person who favors capitalism. What are three negative impacts of consumption? Misuse of land and resources. Exporting pollution and waste from right, rich countries to poor countries. Obesity due to excessive consumption. A cycle of waste, disparities and poverty. What are the policies of Consumer Act? Republic Act 7394 or the Consumer Act of the Philippines is the policy of the state to protect the interests of the consumer, promote his general welfare and to establish standards of conduct for business and industry. What is the need for consumer protection? Consumer protection makes markets work for both business and consumers. Consumers need to be able to obtain accurate, unbiased information about the products and services they purchase. This enables them to make the best choice based on their interests and prevents them from being mistreated or misled by businesses. Who are consumers under Consumer Protection Act? A consumer is defined as a person who buys any good or avails a service for a consideration. It does not include a person who obtains a good for resale or a good or service for commercial purpose. What was the advantages and disadvantages of Consumer Protection Act 1986? The Act includes only two clauses concerning the supply of payless goods, but it does not inflict any stringent accountability on those who provide such products. This Act does not permit the consumer redressal for uh, to proceed either interim order or cease and discontinue orders. What are the causes for consumer exploitation? Reasons for factors causing exploitation of consumers are limited information, limited supplies, limited competition, low literacy, lack of bargaining power, irregular prices offered, misleading advertisements, lack of unity and cumbersome and time-taking legal proceedings. What are the benefits of consumer behavior? Studying consumer behavior 
helps companies to understand how the decision to buy was made and how they hunted for the product. These information help companies and business managers to know the reasons behind the purchase or rejection of a product or service by the customer. What are the advantages of being a consumer? List of the pros of consumerism. Consumerism stimulates economic growth. It also boosts creativity and innovation. Cost reductions are encouraged because of consumerism. It weeds out the poor performance naturally. Consumerism encourages freelancing, entrepreneurialism, and self-employment. How can we avoid hazards? Seven ways to avoid potential Safety hazards. Turn the power off. Inform others. Lock out or tag out. Stay away from wares. Maintain equipment. Wear personal protective equipment. Avoid art flash areas. What is impulsive consumer? Impulsive buying is the tendency of a customer to buy goods and services without planning in advance. When a customer takes such buying decisions at the spur of the moment, it is usually triggered by emotions and feelings. Impulsive buying means making an unplanned purchase. What does Consumer Protection Council do? The Consumer Protection Council is committed to protecting and enhancing consumers' interest through information, education and enforcement of appropriate standards for goods and services and to promote and environment of fair and ethical trade practices. What is Consumer Protection Act 2020? For the purposes of preventing unfair trade practices in e-commerce, the central government had notified the Consumer Protection E-Commerce Rules 2020 with effect from 23rd July 2020. Additionally, conventional flash sales by third party sellers are not banned on e commerce platform. What is the conclusion of consumer protection? Consumers are allowed to protect products and services that are hazardous to their lives and property from marketing cost fixes. The right to obtain information on the quantity, consistency, purity, strength and quality of products and services is the rights of the customer. Who is responsible for consumer exploitation? Literate people are very easily exploited by the sellers. Due to low literacy, the level of consumer consciousness in our country is very low. It benefits the producers and sellers in keeping the rates of their products high and earns more profit. Thus, the consumers are easily exploited. 
what are the various factors causing consumer exploitation limited information in the absence of information about different aspects of the products namely price quality composition condition of use etc the consumers are liable to make a wrong choice and loss money wrong information in the absence of full and correct information a consumer may get exploited how is consumer exploitation prevented to prevent the exploitation faced by the consumers in the market the consumers protection act was enacted 1986 the act was enacted to protect the interests of the consumers give them the right to be protected against various exploitations faced by them how were consumers protected by law the consumers protection act 6 right to protect against the marketing of goods which are hazardous to life and property inform about the quality quantity potency purity standard and price of goods to protect the consumer against unfair trade practices consumer education how can we save ourselves by consumer exploitation consumer education consumers education and awareness is the most important measure for the solution of exploitation purchase of standardized goods several types of goods are available in the market taking cash memo and receipt to take cash memo along with purchase of good is very important how consumer rights are violated a complaint relating to violation of consumer rights or unfair trade practices or misleading advertisements which are prejudicial to the interests of consumers as a class may be forwarded either in writing or in electronic mode to any of these authorities what gives the legal right on product consumer rights have been defined for the first time and these now include the right to be protected against marketing of goods products or services <coughs> which are hazardous to life and property and the right to be informed about the quality quantity potency purity standard and price of goods products or services is there any negligence while buying product there is a statutory liability on product manufacturers and product sellers under cpa 2019 for any defective product moreover such liability is strict in nature as it can hold them liable just based on the defective product without the consumer having to prove actual negligence who is responsible for a faulty product if an item is faulty it is the responsibility of the retailer to deal with any customer complaint so even if you think you are covered by a guarantee or warranty if the complaint is that product was 
faulty at the time of purchase, the retailer should be the first port of call. What are the five product defects under product liability? Product liability for manufacturing defect claims. Defects in design. This occurs when the design of the product makes the product unreasonably dangerous. Manufacturing defects. Failure to warn. Breach of warranty. Who can sue under Consumer Protection Act? The CPA imposes strict liability on manufacturers of defective products for harm caused by those products. This means that people who are injured by defective products can sue for a compensation without having to prove that the manufacturer was negligent. What happens if a retailer owned refund? Complain to the retailer, reject the item and get a refund, ask for a replacement, write a complaint letter. What is a warning defect? A warning defect or a warning label defect is a particular type of legal theory used as the basis of some defective products liability lawsuits. Essentially, a warning defect can occur when a manufacturer of a product fails to include sufficient warnings for the product. Does the Consumer Protection Act 1987 apply to businesses? The act only covers situations where damage is caused from the private use of products. It doesn't cover damage to property used commercially in a business, occupation or profession. What are my legal rights to refund? You can get a full refund within 30 days. This is a nice new addition to our statutory rights. The Consumer Rights Act 2015 changed our right to reject something faulty and be entitled to a full refund in most cases from a reasonable time to a fixed period in most cases of 30 days. What is the purpose of Consumer Protection Act 1986? The Consumer Protection Bill 1986 seeks to provide for better protection of the interests of consumers and for the purpose to make provision for the establishment of consumer councils and other authorities for the settlement of consumer disputes and for matter connected there with right to consumer education. Can my bank get me a refund? Contact your bank immediately to let them know what's happened and ask if you can get a refund. Most banks should reimburse you if you have transferred money to someone because of a scam. If you can't get your money back and you think this is unfair, you should follow the bank's official complaints process. What are the main features of Consumer Protection Act? The Act seeks to promote and protect the interest of consumers against deficiencies and defects in goods or services. It also seeks to secure the rights of a consumer against unfair trade practices which may be practiced by manufacturers and traders.
can a company take money from my credit card without permission find out about your rights when money is taken from your account without your permission money can only be taken from your account if you have authorized the transaction if you noticed a payment from your account that you didn't authorize you should contact your bank or other payment service provider immediately what are the advantages of consumer protection act it allows the consumers to enjoy various consumer rights it allows redressal of consumer queries it allows consumers to pressurize the producers as well as government to ensure moral business conducts